I'm Patrick Jensen, owner of Anything Automotive in Missoula, Montana. On Sunday, September 11th, I wrote a letter of my concerns of the threat of echinococcus granulosis uh, in the mechanic business. Uh, I own a, a mechanic shop in Missoula and employ one other person. Uh, we repair approximately a thousand vehicles a year. Uh, my concerns uh, in the letter were the threat of echinococcus granulosis in what is called a cabin air filter of a vehicle. Uh, here we are September 12th, one day after me writing this letter, and uh, my first occasion has arised to prove my point on the threat of echinococcus granulosis. What you're looking at is a cabin air filter in a 2004 Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, the vehicle came in with very low air coming through the vents. Uh, this is a HEPA filter designed to hold uh, dirt coming in from the outside of the cab as it comes in through the intake air system. Uh, the HEPA filter and the cabin air filter was designed to keep the people inside of the cab of the vehicle from getting dust uh, in their face. So. Uh, <laughs> first inspection with this air filter and, and no air coming out the vents of course I knew a cabin air filter was was plugged up most vehicle owners don't even know that their vehicle has a cabin air filter uh, so what you're looking at on the floor is we open the the door of the cabin air filter and pull the cabin air filter out there's there's no safe way to get this cabin air filter out it's tug and pull to get it out so my concern is should this customer that owns this vehicle have been in any area that could have been contaminated with the echinococcus granulosis uh, and and those eggs and the dust sucked up off of the road and deposited in their cabin air filter as a mechanic I'm concerned that uh, my my health risk and my employees health is at risk when we remove these cabin air filters I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out What you're looking at here is actually a new cabin air filter. Um, probably not a real good idea to dump this other filter out to show you this, but I guess my take on it is I've already been exposed, so I'm going to show you how much debris is in this filter. That debris is just from one time through. You can see in the, in the filter all the buildup in there. Again, this is a 2004 Pacifica, so here we are seven years that this filter has not been changed. So this filter has seven years to be exposed to the echinococcus granulosis. Uh, and then either myself, my, my employee, or any other mechanic around these states infected with this are, are just got exposed to this disease. So I uh, hope you take that into consideration. and. Again, we're just doing this video to prove my point that uh, I wrote in my letter.